This is a modern day German Shepherd dog. And this is how German Shepherd dogs look like 100 years ago. Now, back in 1899, these dogs were originally bred as herding dogs that had straight back, long powerful legs, incredible stamina, and almost zero early age health problems. Now, if you look at the modern day German Shepherd dogs, they are facing tons of health issues such as degenerative disc disease, hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, leg bending, bloating, thyroid and many more. And not only German Shepherds, there are many popular dog breeds which are facing the same or slightly different health problems. Look at Chow Chow and Pug for example. They are actually ancient dog breeds. But modern day Pugs and Chow Chows are prone to many health problems like low oxygenation, breathing difficulty, body overheating, heart problems, musculoskeletal issues, eye disorders and so on. But the question is, why dog breeds nowadays are facing these serious health problems? What exactly happened in the past 100 years which changed the dog's overall health and body structure? Well, in easy words, it all started when people decided to go for the looks rather than their abilities. For centuries, dogs have been bred for various purposes such as hunting, guarding or herding. And every pure breed dog you see today was bred for a certain purpose. For example, Doberman was bred for guarding, Labrador Retriever was bred as spotting and hunting dog, and German Shepherd was bred for herding. However, over the years, the focus of dog breeding has shifted from function to appearance. For instance, if you were getting a dog for the first time, then most probably your first choice would be a Labrador Retriever or a, a Golden Retriever or a Rottweiler or any other popular dog breed. But almost none of us would use that dog for their original purpose that they were bred for. Which is totally normal because in this modern era, it's almost impossible for many pet owners to go hunting and swimming with their dog. But the problem starts when we go for the looks. Like, I want a cute and friendly dog, so a Labrador Retriever would be great for me. Or, uh, I want a cute and small dog, so Shih Tzu is best for me. Or, I want a dangerous looking dog, so let's go with the Cane Corso. And that's where dog breeders come into action. For most of them, it's just business, whose only job is to sell you a beautiful looking, happy, cute, small puppy. Cause that's what the customer wants. In the last few decades, dog breeders started to select dogs based on their physical characteristics such as their coat color, their bone density, their head shape or their size rather than their ability to perform specific tasks. And this trend was further fueled by dog shows where dogs were judged based on their appearance and how closely they match breed standards. And as a result, breeders started to exaggerate certain traits to meet these standards, which ultimately led to the creation of dogs with serious health problems. For instance, take the Bulldog. Over the time, breeders have emphasized the dog's wrinkles, short snout and broad chest, but these traits have come at a cost. Bulldogs now suffer from breathing problems, skin infection and other serious health issues, making them prone to a shorter lifespan. Another example is the Dachshund, a breed that was originally bred for hunting but over the time breeders have emphasized the dog's long and low body which has resulted in spinal problems in the dog and other health issues which can be very painful. Health problems like elbow dysplasia, hip dysplasia, spinal problems, breathing problems, heart problems are getting more common in dogs these days from an early age. In fact, vets are now performing surgeries to open the dog's nostrils to make them breathe properly. If you wanna know who's responsible for all this, then it's us, humans, who prefer looks rather than their abilities. So at the end I would just say, if you're getting a dog for the first time or second time or third time, then try to adopt a street dog or a dog from shelter don't just go for the looks. 
So that's it for today but in our next episode I'll be talking about why some dogs live longer than others and if you don't want to miss that then make sure you're subscribed to our channel I'll see you at the next episode till then peace out